private equity has always been a people business. But as hardworking as their staff may be, private equity firms are under constant pressure to streamline workflow, generate greater efficiency, and increase transparency. The industry has therefore witnessed the emergence of software solutions aiming to help GPs cope with these requirements at all stages of a fund's life cycle, from fundraising to portfolio management and investor relations. I'm Greg Gill, news editor at Unquote, and here with me to discuss this trend is Olivier Dallenbach, the founder, president and CEO of software solutions provider eFront. Hello Olivier, and thank you very much for being with us today. To start with, can you tell me a bit more about eFront? Sure, Greg. So eFront is a software vendor established 14 years ago and dedicated to the alternative investments in general and private equity in particular. We have more than 300 clients uh, all across the world. Uh, what really differentiates us from uh, our competitors is uh, A, I mean, we have real worldwide coverage. We have 300 clients, but all across the world. Uh, B, we really serve both the GPs and the LP community, so we are really on both sides mm -hmm. of the investment uh, chain. Uh, and uh, obviously the third part is uh, we, s we serve both the private equity market and the real estate market. Mm -hmm. So that's really where, where we differentiate ourselves. Um, I, I would have thought that you know, it'd be mostly GPs looking into those sorts of solutions, but you tell me LPs are interested as well. Um, obviously, they must have very different requirements. Um, what kind of services do you offer one, you know, one side of the, of the buyer, GPs and then LPs? First, I mean, the main reason for a GP to buy a system is obviously to serve better uh, their LPs. So serving both sides is really an advantage for us because we really know pretty well what an LP is looking for. So we believe we can help GPs to really better automate their workflows and reporting um, processes to their LPs. What we see more and more uh, big uh, LPs, large LPs, uh, to buy solution mm. and to analyze their portfolios in some kind of similar way and GP is analyzing their own portfolio. So this is a trend of the industry. Ifron has been going for a number of years, and I imagine private equity practitioners have got quite a lot of choice when it comes to uh, the number of providers and the range of solutions available. How mature is this market? You, you can look at the market different ways. Obviously, there are plenty of vendors now in this space, so you can uh, say it's a sign of maturity, and I would say most of the products do a decent job. Uh, on the other hand, I really strongly believe that uh, uh, there is a lot of, th of things that need to be done uh, just to serve very properly this market. Uh, so, I mean, even if there are plenty of products, I really believe that the market will have to mature significantly in the next uh, few years. Mm -hmm. And where, where do you see it evolving, actually? What kind of trends and um, you know, changes to, to this market do you see happening? At the end of the day, I believe it's really uh, the relationship between GPs and LPs, which is changing. At the end of the day, our type of products are just supporting this relationship. And as the relationship is going to change dramatically in the next years, our type of products will have to change. Uh, we obviously hear a lot about uh, the ILPA uh, initiatives in terms of uh, uh, setting up standard guidelines, best practices in uh, how GPs should report to LPs. That will uh, drive uh, enormous uh, uh, appetite uh, for a new generation of solutions mm -hmm. that will be able to automate uh, those changes. Of course. And when, um, when GPs come to, to see you, for instance, to know more uh, about your products, what are you know, the top three uh, requirements that they have and the top three uh, reasons why they would consider using a software solution? And these has changed in the last uh, few years and is going to change a lot in the next years too. Mm. Uh, I would say uh, there are really two centers of gravity in, uh, it looks a bit strange, but <laughs> in the, our type of offer. Uh, fund accounting and fund management is probably the number one reason why uh, clients are looking for high-end solution. And CIM slash deal flow management, another part, uh, of, uh, of the system. What 
I believe is going to change is the appetite for better portfolio management solutions. So I really do believe that at the end of the day, uh, everything will, uh, uh, will change and going forward, most of the GPs will really focus on better portfolio management solutions. Mm. And that will be the center of gravity of the, of the offer. And, and, and on the LP side, what are the, the, the most pregnant? Yeah. Same thing, in some way, I mean, uh, uh, today uh, LPs re receive tons of information coming from uh, GPs, uh, more and more information. Uh, if you look at what they are doing with this information, for a lot of them, not much. Uh, that's the reason why they are now buying software like ours, to be able to really crunch this data, crunch this information, and have a good feeling about the actual performance of their GPs. So portfolio management, not from an LP standpoint, is going to be a critical uh, uh, part uh, of uh, the IT systems too. They need to understand exactly where the value comes from, mm -hmm. uh, and that can be done much e more easily with sophisticated applications. Absolutely. Um, just to, to, to finish, and maybe coming back actually on the, the aspect of a, a mature market, obviously quite a lot of competition. Um, I imagine GPs and LPs are like, I've got a lot of choice when it comes to um, software solutions. Do you see a lot of consolidation happening in that industry going forward? Uh, more specialization? How do you think, how do you, th how do you see the market, let's say, in five years' time? Less actors, less solutions, more intricate ones? You see, I mean, if you look at any trend in the uh, uh, application uh, business, there's always, I mean, it's a good sign of maturity when the market consolidates. There are today a lot of vendors, uh, I mean, different size, tiny ones, larger ones, and uh, they all say nearly the same thing. So there is some confusion mm -hmm. from the market. How can a 20 people organization sell the same type of products than a 300 people organization like ours? So I, I really believe it's, uh, I mean, the market is going to consolidate just for one reason. I mean, uh, there is a, a bigger and bigger expectation from clients in terms of uh, what they expect from the software vendor, and obviously this requires a lot of means, uh, financial resources. I mean, uh, it's not the same thing if you have, uh, uh, if you have the capability to invest uh, uh, 20 million uh, dollar in your R&D versus two million, right? So, I mean, it will be a good sign of the maturity of the market uh, if it consolidates. I believe it's going to happen uh, probably in the next three years. I see. Well, thank you very much for that, Olivier. It was a pleasure um, chatting with you. And thank you for watching. Um, see you on the Uncut website.